the main culprit is that the soil has lost its its nutrients. So we know that soil has a incredible effect on human health. And whether those effects are positive or negative, whether it's direct or indirect, right? So important. Soil, soil is a super important source of nutrients in our food supply and medicine. Hi, everyone. Dr. Partha Nandy. Thank you for joining us. Today, we're talking about, uh, you know, a pretty to me, a pretty exciting topic, which is our soil. Um, a lot of us, you know, have noticed that foods don't really have the nutrients that they do now. And and, and it seems like the soil that we have, right, the soil that uh, where we grow our food is depleted of nutrients, has lost its nutrients. So what can we do? What What is it that we can do to really help? And, and this is important because so much of our food doesn't have the nutrients that, that we need. So again, today I'm talking about our soil and nutrients and, and how we can, we can save them. So, you know, plants that we eat, right, plants that we eat, support human health many, many ways, right? They provide us with carbohydrates, proteins, fats for energy. But where does that come from, right? It has to come from the soil. And if the soil has no nutrients, we've really lost the process. So remember that all the food that we eat, the soil has to support it. So the vitamins and minerals that are both synthesized in the plant and drawn from the surrounding soil. So the plants create the vitamins and minerals and, and also it takes it from the surrounding soil. So ever since we as human beings, right, we had agriculture, we've been transforming the planet and throwing basically the soil's nutrient cycle completely out of balance, right? So we, we have fruits and vegetables that, for example, grown decades ago that were richer in vitamins and minerals than the varieties we get now. And why is that, right? So an uh, institute uh, analysis of nutrient data from 1975 to 1997 found that the average calcium levels in vegetables, in, in fresh vegetables, dropped 27%. Iron levels dropped 37%. Vitamin A levels dropped 21%. And vitamin C levels dropped 40, uh, 30%. Now, these are important because these are crucial multivitamins that we need to support our health. So very, very important. In 2004, we had 43 garden crops that were analyzed to compare the nutritional content in 1950 versus 1999. And, and similar results, calcium, phosphorus, iron, B vitamins, vitamin C were all lower in 1999, right? Compared, compared to 1950. So it's really important. And, and when we have, when we have this nutritional depletion, the main culprit is that the soil has lost its, its nutrients. So we know that soil has an incredible effect on human health. And whether those effects are positive or negative, whether it's direct or indirect, right? So important. Soil, soil is a super important source of nutrients in our food supply and medicine. For example, you know, you talk about medicines such as antibiotics. If you don't have the right soil, you're not going to be able to make those humans. Human beings have been depleting you know, the earth's soil's resources much faster than we put it back in. And modern, really intensive agricultural methods. So what that means is the way we produce food now have really stripped more and more of the nutrients from the soil in which the food we eat actually grows. So we've had efforts to really breed new varieties of crops uh, to get more yield, have pest resistance, and adapt to the climate changes. We hear every day something's happening with the climate, right? So you're trying to make crops that that can, can adjust to it. Uh, but their ability to, to really make this has not kept pace. And, and the nutrients, getting the nutrients back in has not kept pace with the with the rapid growth. And the increases in yield from the from getting all these crops, right, has been produced by chemical fertilizers, and they tend to decrease the concentration of the nutrients in plants and, and the concentration of, 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 this, of the nutrients in, in the soil. So this is a huge problem to me because you look at food and they just don't have the nutritional capabilities. We are, for example, our grandparents did, right? And that's a big problem. Study in 2017 uh, in, from PubMed Central looked at the effect of soil and human health. And here are some key points, very important. 14 elements essential for plant growth that come from the soil, right? 
these essential nutrients end up in human diet, either directly through eating the plants or indirectly through eating animal products. So if you're not vegetarian, if you're not vegan, you're eating animal products, so you can get the nutrients from the soil, 14 essential uh, elements that are, that are important. And they are hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, building blocks of life, right? Sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, make up 99% of the atoms of the human body, right? So we're talking about the stuff that makes life. And all but hydrogen, oxygen, and oxygen and carbon really have soil as their major source. That's incredible. So 99% of these of, of these elements, right? Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, right? Sulfur and chlorine make up almost a hundred percent of atoms in the human body. Amazing. But all except hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon have soil as their major source. It's really important to have important, important nutrients that stay in our soil. And again, for those of you who are watching, thank you for watching. Again, please share this with your audience. Really, to me, it's, it's important that we spread this message all over the planet and uh, let us know where you're joining us from. And, and remember, 0.1%, you know, that the remaining we talked about, 99.9% .9 come from those elements, but the 0.1% con contains... Uh, approximately 18 additional elements known as micronutrients. We've been talking about this. Or trace elements that are essential, essential for proper nutrition and proper health, right? So this is essential for human health. We'll talk about that. So soils that provide plants with the proper nutrients really are important to get all the elements we talked about the hydrogen, the oxygen, the carbon, the nitrogen, the potassium, the sodium, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus. And so it's really important that we we look at these as necessary, not like, ah, eh, it's going to be all right. It really isn't because if you want optimal health, you know, you're talking about, hey, I'm tired. So many of my patients come and say I'm tired and fatigued, but then they don't talk about all the nutrients that we're not getting, right, that, that, we're, that we're missing because of what's happening. So researchers in this study that we talked about in 2017 – looked at important micronutrients that, ca that cause commonly seen health issues. And here's what they found. Iodine, right? Iodine deficiency has been identified as the single most preventable cause of brain damage. Imagine that worldwide by the World Health Organization. That's iodine. Other health effects include having a goiter. Many of you may know, know about goiters. Low thyroid or hypothyroidism, spontaneous abortion, stillbirths, you know, anomalies in birth, congenital anomalies, impaired mental function, delayed physical development, all from simple iodine deficiency, right? Deficiencies are very common in places where soil does not supply adequate iodine to the crops grown in it, although widespread. It, they're the most common in the high altitude interiors of continents. Having said that, lots of progress have been, has been made to correct the iodine deficiency disorder through the universal salt iodization program, right? So when you put this iodine in the salt, it really helps. But really, can you imagine that? Single most preventable cause of brain damage worldwide by the World Health Organization. What about iron deficiency? Iron deficiency causes anemia, low blood count, essential component of hemoglobin. About 2 billion people, B, 2 billion people are estimated to have iron deficiency worldwide, making it one of the most common nutrient deficiencies, right? Super important. Iron deficient soil can lead to small iron concentration in, in plants and in humans who consume them. This is especially problematic in, in soils that are dry and, and in populations whose diet, you know, they rely on a lot of grain cereals, but have very few meat products. Excessive iron, on the other hand, excessive iron can lead to diseases in the body. So you got to remember, remember it's not always with iron, too much can be something bad. Selenium, what about selenium? It's essential micronutrient for humans because of its critical roles in thyroid function and immunity. Selenium concentrations in soil are variable throughout the world depending on the climate and, and the availability of bioavailable selenium in plants. Uh, and, and that is that varies considerably, right? 
So most of the world's population consumes suboptimal, so less than uh, less than optimal amounts of selenium, and therefore, at increased risk for big, big problems, risk of cancer, heart disease, and other disease caused by what's called increased oxidative stress. That means all of the inflammation that happens from the toxins and a weakened immune system. Immune system is uh, is critical. Uh, uh, selenium is a critical part of an immune system. And also selen selenium toxicity in humans can occur where the soil or drinking water has too much selenium. The effects of selenium toxicity in humans, not well understood, right? But it is considered a probable carcinogen, cancer-causing agent that targets the liver and kidneys and can cause brittle nails, right? And hair, hair and nail loss, gastrointestinal problems, as well as fatigue and nerve damage. And we're talking about selenium. Hey, thanks for watching. Again, if you are listening to this and it's important, share this with your audience. Let us know where you're joining us from. If you have any questions, hey, we'll love to answer them. Zinc, critical, critical component, several enzymes. I can't, I can't tell you how important that this is. It's important in cellular growth and in tissues that have a rapid turnover, right? Such as the GI system and the immune system. Zinc deficiency is suspected to be very common in, in developing countries where there's not a lot of um, uh, resources. And the exact level of the problem is really not well understood because of the lack of reliable and, and really accepted indicators of zinc deficiencies. But deficiency negatively affects what? Healing of wounds, immune system, and the ability to taste and smell, and also sus suspected to uh, cause stunted growth. So in areas where people have stunted growth, check the, the, the zinc levels. About half the world's soils are deficient in zinc. With, 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 when you have strongly leached acidic soil and, and, and calcareous soils being the most likely to be deficient. So when you have these soils that are treated can be most likely to be deficient. So again, what about, we're in America. You know, I live in uh, Metro Detroit. What about the American diet? Well, the American diet is not great, especially for this. Comprehensive diets conducted by the United States Department of Agriculture showed what? Revealed that the average American diet lacks micro micronutrients to a large extent. Nutritional deficiencies may be caused by poor nutrient levels in the soil. But over the years, our diet also has changed dramatically, right? We have deficiencies that can be caused by super highly processed foods where the, where the nutrients are stripped away. And refined foods, right? Refined foods and food additives, super important. And I'll tell you this, that when you have refined foods, it's important to know that that is not how you get your nutrients. So if you go to your average fast food place or pick up those wonderful giant, you know, frozen dinners, ain't going to make it happen, right? Also, medications, alcohol consumption. It seems like, you know, with the pandemic, we had so many people go up on their alcohol consumption. Not great. Smoking. So many of my patients, you know, are smoking. They come to procedures. They can't even smoke. They can't even stop smoking for 24 hours. Smoking and heavy metal exposure and high stress levels. I can't, I can't stress enough how high stress levels contribute. Whatever the reason may be, nutrient deficiencies exist in a big portion of the U.S. population. And for select nutrients, more than 80%, that's 80% of the United States, Americans that consume less than the recommended daily allowance. Remember, the RDA is not for optimal health. It's the level where you get the minimum, the minimum, so you don't get a deficiency. That's not saying that's to get optimal health. It's really important to understand that. The RDA is just your minimal level, so you don't go into deficiency. It's not to get optimal health. Very important. 80% of Americans are consuming less than the recommended daily allowance. Startling. I, I mean, when I read this, you know, it's, it's really, really eye-opening. that We have a chance to really change the health of America. Therefore, there are lots of folks who need to supplement their nutrition to avoid deficiencies and stay healthy. So multivitamins, right? Multivitamins can play an important role when nutritional requirements are not met through diet alone. And many, many, many of us, right, have have nutri nutrient levels that are less than adequate. So multivitamins, what are they? Are supplements that contain many different vitamins and minerals. Many of you who are uh, listening and watching me may be taking them. 
And, and so reasons to take a multivitamin. If you're taking, if you're eating a limited diet or your appetite is decreased uh, due to eating less than usual, or if you have a condition that, that decreases your body's ability to absorb nutrients, right? Very important. You should take a multivitamin, right? You have gone undergone surgery that interferes with the normal absorption of nutrients. Lots of my patients now have gastric bypass surgery. Very important to know if you gastric got if you have gastric bypass surgery, you may not be getting the nutrients you need, right? If you've temporarily increased nutrient needs, right? So that such as when you're pregnant, you have increased nutrient needs because you're feeding two people, right? Two two creatures, you yourself and the baby. And, and you're busy, right? Lots of us are busy. Can't eat a balanced diet. Got to do this report. Got to do home, whatever it is, right? Busy diet. You eat well. This is an important one. So you got to listen. Eat well, but feel tired all the time, right? Talk to your doctor first so they can investigate, hey, are there any other causes that may be causing problems? But hey, multivitamin could help there. Multivitamins come in many forms. They come in tablets. They come in capsules, liquids, powders. But, and they can be packaged with a specific combination of nutrients, B complex, calcium with 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 vitamin D, or as kind of a comprehensive multivitamin. Mega doses, right, of vitamins are not recommended. They can potentially interfere with the absorption of other nutrients or medications, or become toxic if too much is taken. So you know, we we we've been talking about this. We're releasing the Dr. Nandy supplement line and an essential. But multivitamin is a big part of it. And in, in, in my line, the supplements will contain many of the nutrients we found that were much lower today than years ago. We talked about the soil being depleted, that our diet has changed, right? Iodine. We talked about maybe a single most common cause, right? We talked about the World Health Organization, single most preventable cause of brain damage. Just super important. So we'll have We'll have that, right? We'll have the we'll have iodine, selenium, we'll have zinc, right? We gotta make your immune system strong. Vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, and riboflavin. And 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 our women's multivitamin, the one we formulated, also contains iron. And and both these multivitamins provide what baseline nutrition for a variety of diet, protocols and diets, and they offer full spectrum antioxidant protect, protection. What does that mean? All the toxins that you get, the world you know, around you, lots of toxins, right? You want to be able to have great antioxidant protection. Build, and, 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 and we want these multivitamins, in my line, to really build metabolic reserve and protect against dietary deficiencies. And it protects against what we all have, stress-induced, right? Stress-induced nutrient depletion. And it supports healthy metabolism. Now, these multivitamins are a comprehensive hypoallergenic multivitamin and mineral blend. But as a complete multivitamin, right, it provides high-quality nutrients to really build a healthy micronutrient reserve. The B vitamins, what do they do? They support energy production, uh, production and, and folate. And, and we also talk about the multivitamin has an optimal two-to-one magnesium to calcium ratio. It's a key at the key antioxidant, vitamin C, natural vitamin E, also protects cells from radical free radical damage. What does that mean? So when 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 you have a toxin, you have free radicals that form, it can protect cells from free radical uh, damage. Also contains synergistic blend of vitamin K, which are critical for supporting bone strength. We have people that you know who, who are as they get older, you're prone to more fractures, right? It helps you to get bone strength. And cardiovascular health. What about super greens? A lot of us, we, we know that we have to get what? A, a rich array of fruits and vegetables. However, you don't always get it. So super greens, we try to make something that's great tasting, convenient. And it's a nutritional shake that provides beneficial nutrients from various fruits and vegetables and greens. And so you want to have balanced nutrition. Sometimes you can't get it, right? And then when you have these greens, you want to make sure that they come from I think it's important that they come from organically grown fruits and veggies that have been found to have higher levels of beneficial antioxidants, right? And polyphenols and other nutrients. And you want to have organic agriculture, right? So that you don't want to be able to have agricultural practices. We talked about soil depletion and, and nutrient depletion. You want to have things that really don't, that enhance uh, and, and decrease 
enhance the nutrients and decrease the soil depletion. Uh, immune health is important for us. So you want to make sure that, you know, you have powerful immune health additives, which, for example, for me, quercetin, Q-U-E-R-C-E-T-I, is a, it's a powerful product that aids in, in supporting the immune system. A lot of us don't even know about it, right? Uh, quercetin is best known for its antioxidant activity. And what they do is, again, scavenge uh, or, or take up free radicals that can damage your cells. Vitamin C is super important, and acetylcysteine is super important, and these are all the micronutrients that your body needs. Really potent antioxidants, which means that they, they fight toxins and promote respiratory function. Uh, and acetylcysteine is the it's the precursor of what comes before glutathione. So zinc is also super important when you talk about immune health. When we talked about that, zinc and vitamin D, very important micronutrients because that gives you the combination to help you build superb, uh, a superb immune system. I, and I can't talk about enough about rest and sleep and how it's really important to be able to get rest and sleep to rejuvenate your body and all your organ systems, including your immune system. So super important there. Listen, even though a lot of progress was made with understanding the link, right, the link between soil and human health over the last century, there's much that we still need to know about the complex interactions, but we do know the soil has been depleted with our how we make agricultural products, how quickly we turn them over. The, the, the depletion of soils is critical. Uh, it's still very, very important to eat a balanced diet, fresh whole foods. You're more likely to ensure that you have good health over the long term. And the main purpose of a multivitamin is to fulfill in the nutritional gaps, not, not instead of getting a good diet, right? And, and remember, dosage is an essential factor to consider when taking multivitamins. And multivitamins aren't always right for everyone. So talk to your doctor about it too. And so some, some, some supplements may contain ingredients that interfere. So again, speak with, speak with your doctor. And we'll be launching our supplement line very soon. So we'll let you know on our website. Again, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Let me say a quick hello. Uh, Hannah from the west side of Detroit. Thank you for joining us. And Elaine, uh, from the Philippines, and then there's a uh, let's see, uh, the the vitamins and supplements. Uh, you have some some other supplements that are very important uh, that you're going to show me hopefully. Excellent. And then Ness Ottawa is a uh, uh, a farm in Queensland, Australia, uh, and it was called Virgin uh, called Virgin Soil. Thanks, Ness. And Cuckoo uh, Hyen. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Thank you for joining us. And Michael Cody is uh, appreciated. Thank you for the, you're right, micronutrients are important. A lot of people don't talk about it. Let's talk about macronutrients, so super important. And then, uh, let's see, Ness Ottawa says, my, uh, my boys and I have a blood disorder which is passed down from the mother. We don't have enough oxygen in our blood and don't absorb all the vitamins and minerals we need. I've been looking for a company that can help us as we need double of most companies put in their tablets. Ness, We'll be happy to help you. Just uh, please message us and we'll let you know when our line comes out. So it's important. And here's the thing that not everybody, you know, understands the need that an RDA is just enough to be able to maintain the minimal, the minimal dose, not for optimal health. So, you know, what we'd like to do is be able to educate folks on, hey, you know what, there's there's doses and, and, and needs for optimal health. And not everybody needs it. But if you really want to get optimal health, it's not just the RDA. Super important. Hi, Mary Jo. It's good to see you. Mary Jo is one of our amazing, my amazing friends and patients. So thanks for joining us. Tracy Jones. Thanks, Tracy. And I appreciate yeah, your support. So again, thanks so much for joining us. I'll be back again to talk about really more, more important stuff uh, and, and how we can make, make some solutions, not just talk about problems. A lot of my patients have IBS and I want to talk about does fiber really help? A lot of my patients have IBS and I'm going to talk about uh, how does IBS, that, does fiber really help IBS? Because so many times doctors talk about just more fiber, more fiber, and it may not be helpful. So thanks for joining me today. Hopefully you have a good evening or good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. Take care. Remember, make healthy living a part of every day. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Partha Nandi. And if you enjoyed that video, you're going to love the next one. It's full of incredible information to help you start your health hero journey.